welcome back everybody to Age of Civilizations and we have left off as Nazi Germany. Of course, in the last video I told you a lot about how we were having a lot of problems with the South Africans. Huh. And I also told you about our problems over here with the Americans because we do have a colony over here even though it's probably not going to survive. And we also have to worry about India who is Kind of a major power, despite not really being a major power. Hard to explain, but I think you all get the point. Now, I think the only way we're going to survive is if we get rid of these territories right here. So, let's ship all of our troops and try to at least take over all that. So... Right there, we've already taken out quite a bit of territory. So let's see what happens. It probably will, well, obviously, so far it's not even going good. We just lost territory. And we did gain some territory. So what are we at now? We, are, we did lose some land, but we did also gain some land. So let's try to push out again. Like I said, we need to get rid of these guys. Oh, and I, great, I clicked the wrong spot. So that's, uh... That's a problem, so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is not going to be good right here. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to slow that down. Well, let's send these troops over here and do this. This is, yeah, we're, we're going to have a lot of problems if we can't uh, slow these people down. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of uh, options right here. We could easily... Uh, I don't know, just do that. That's really about it. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're kind of in a very bad uh, area right now in this game. Is there anything we can do over here? We can... Well, I mean, I guess we could do this. We have to defeat these countries, but we have no money. And we're in a uh, a lot of front wars. And our country just got split in half, kind of. But I guess we still have this border, if you can count it. Our trade is also really uh, bad compared to what it could be. And we continue to lose land. Brazil is now the new second world power, like I said. Tied up with South Africa, who will just not die, I suppose. We have to find the way to defeat South Africa. But they have so many troops here, it's not even funny. And yeah, we gotta... We just have too many countries. Uh, they all have 100,000 stacks of troops, and we just can't make any real progress until we figure out how to stop them, which we really can't stop them, which sucks. Should I just focus on the American front? I think, I mean, the South Africans, obviously, they're a threat, but I just don't know what to do. And our country is continuing to shrink doing that, so. I don't know, let's focus on India, because if we can at least get rid of India, maybe we can advance somewhat, I have no clue. Again, I'm kind of just making up what we're going to do as we go along. Uh, at this rate, we may not even be able to win the game, because of how much we've lost. So let's see if that does anything. Probably not. So obviously we need to stop this American advance before it gets out of control. Get these troops, take it over this, send the troops to the south. Obviously we have this, so uh, let's just try to take over this territory, I suppose. I'm pretty sure we've lost our colony, so why even try for that anymore? Um, 
Yeah, we're falling apart. We're about to get surpassed completely. And that's not going to be good. If we end the war with all these countries, maybe we can... Um, Maybe we can still win. It's not over, guys. I think we we have to end the war, but uh, if we can at least, like... Maybe if we can do something over here. We do not want to be in that war again, so... Obviously, let's do this, and hope for the best, I suppose. So let's go over here and defeat Brazil in the north. Okay, we have to get a get a packed up with uh, all of them because we don't want to get into that war. Obviously, our colony is going to be doing a lot better, and we are gaining land again, so we are rebuilding technically. So maybe that was a good decision what we just did right there. And we're really close to America's capital, which probably could help us out quite a bit if we could take that over, because then we can have all of this land in Asia, and that would really, I think it would really change the, uh, the tide of battle of what we're currently dealing with. So let's also, I want to build up some naval invasions, because obviously our current state uh, of our country is a failure if we can't do something like that. Okay. Put those over there. Obviously, I want to have a, a lot of naval invasion set up, so... Actually, let's send all the troops that way. Maybe we could even go into Brazil. It's a possibility, but... I kind of think Brazil needs to stay there if we're going to survive, so... Even though Brazil is losing, but I don't think they were going to get defeated, so. We have troops here ready to take over North Africa at a moment's notice. And if we can get over here, uh, I would like to make a, a push into uh, France and defeat them. Because that's a... Actually, it could also damage us because of South Africa. Yeah. I don't know. But maybe we if we... You know what, let's send the troops to South Africa, because if we defeat South Africa, we have a chance. Let's also build a port. Uh, did I just build the port? Yes, I did. Let's build the port here, and let's send troops over here, ready to take over that entire coastline. I think our naval invasions are going to be really the, the game changer. I don't know if they will be or not, but I hope they will be, so that's kind of... Kind of what I'm going for, if you guys can't tell. Let's build another port right here. Ship all those troops there, and let's build a port here, and ship all those troops over here. Hopefully that can make a difference as well. Should we get another packed up, or should we just go for it? I think currently going for it may be our best strategy, uh, because we are broke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. So that'll be pretty uh, intense over here. Obviously, we weren't, we're not able to build our front over here, which is not really that big of a deal. But it was, it's whatever. Um, and then again, over here, we have a lot of opportunity to just do some pretty significant damage. Uh, I, right here, I want to make sure that we stop them uh, before they really get into all this land, I guess. Um, I guess we can't do too much more over here, so, yeah. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can end the war uh, really quickly as well. It's possible. Can we end the war right now? Yes, we can. So we, we are rebuilding, but it is a very slow progress, and we are, we're not very strong <laughs> because we're falling apart. Uh, I don't see how we're not dead, but 
Uh, we're surviving. Can we defeat anybody? We just need land, I'm telling you guys. Let's do this. Let's send all these troops over here. There's just got to be some kind of a uh, way we can win this war, but it's just it's just not really working in our favor, like I said. So with all this right here, I think we should build a another naval invasion over here on South Africa. I think that'd be a little bit smarter than what we were planning. So Also, let's get a, a port here and build a naval invasion to possibly India. I think that'd be smart. Or let's go into Indonesia, which would be pretty interesting. Ooh, we could take over all of Australia, which is actually a... Well, it's not a huge country, but it's a significant amount of land we could take over. Um, we need to do something quickly, though, because America is winning the war. And if America... Well, actually, we really need to just hope that Brazil wins. But they're not going to. Actually, if we take over... Let's take over this land. I kind of forgot this country existed, so... This actually would really help us. And, of course, it's taking a while because we're doing naval invasions. Are we at war now? Yeah, we're at war, so that's great. That's absolutely amazing. Just what I wanted. Uh, let's do this. Let's go into the Canadian capital and fully unify this colony. Obviously, over here we have a really good advantage right now. Uh, if we can take over a lot of this. Really, I think we can def defeat America. If we play smart, uh, I think we can defeat America. It's really my only goal now, uh, because we have nothing left. Uh, I'm telling you guys, we've lost. If we can't defeat America. So let's just hope for the best, and let's see if we can push back America. I think we've won, so that's the good news, but we have to make sure we can at least do this. Okay, we've won. So America is defeated. Possible, I think so. Uh, and that means our new threat is, well, how much land are we going to get from America? 36. That means we'll be as strong as ever before, so that's good news. And British Raj are up here, so let's just invade. Obviously, uh, if America gains land, that's actually good for us, so let's actually help America kind of takes over some land out here. Uh, let's go over and, oh geez, this is a... This is quite a, a mess over here. Yeah, we really need that land, America, because South Africa is officially tied up with us for power, and they've taken our capital. And I don't know if we're going to be able to take it back or not. Yeah, this is really bad. Uh, we've lost the capital, and we've lost a, a lot of stuff, so. And we've retaken the capital, so we will survive. And we have all of America's land, which is now just falling apart, so that's great. Hmm, well, this is a... Let's get a piece up with a good old Brazil out here. Can we get an alliance with Brazil? That would really help us out. Well, now we have to figure out how we're going to defeat the South Africans. And British Raj or Empire now. There's so many countries out here, it's not even funny. 
Let's go, uh, let's go over here and try to take over the British Raj. Obviously, let's take over some of these countries. Uh, can we just... I don't know what to do. We're going to fall apart if we don't do something. That's it. We have to take over the British Raj. Because I'm telling you guys, if we don't, we're going to lose again. Because they're already destroying us, and I don't know. We have nothing... We have nothing. We've essentially lost the game already, so. Build up a navy. Hopefully they leave that territory. We have literally nothing. Slow down those troops right there. Like, this is just looking awful. I really think we've lost. Uh, if we can't make this work, we're probably going to lose the game. And we've been defeated. So, it was a, it was a pretty long run, but I do think we had too many fronts to deal with. Uh, tried my best. Again, though, the fronts really did overwhelm us in the south. We defeated America and the Soviets, despite it all, but we just really couldn't keep our country together uh, in the end, so. I don't know. Overall, we didn't have the troops over here to survive. Maybe we should have dealt with South Africa a little bit smarter over here, but I don't know. We really couldn't do anything else, because if we would have lost in America and all of our other fronts, I really don't think... We would have survived anyway, so... I don't know. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Should we have done something different? Overall, I think Brazil is going to win us the game anyways. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.